Today I will be coloring Paisley, and while I am coloring, listen to the story about what Paisley is. The History of the Origin of the Pattern Paisley, Indian Cucumber, or, to be more precise, Buta, is a very ancient pattern. Probably, it first appeared in the Sassanid Empire, an ancient state, from 224 to 651 AD, located on the territory of modern Iraq and Iran. Thanks to trade ties, fabrics with this pattern spread throughout Central Asia, and even found themselves in India and Africa. The cucumbers came to Europe just from India in the 17th century thanks to the British colonists. The demand for exotic Indian fabric was so high that enterprising Europeans began to weave canvases with cucumbers themselves. The small Scottish town of Paisley completely devoted all its resources to the production of fabrics in the Indian style and thanks to this it remained for centuries, but already as the name of the pattern itself. There is no consensus on what Paisley really is. According to one version, this is a floral motif combined with the silhouette of a cypress, a symbol of life in Zoroastrianism. Another version of the origin is stylized tongues of flame, also symbolizing life. Perhaps the origin of the cashew nut, which was a symbol of fertility. It is widely believed in India that cucumbers represent the seeds of the mango tree. In any case, no matter what theory you take, it is about life and fertility. Some people manage to see even sperm in paisley, but given the antiquity of the pattern, this version is extremely doubtful. The appearance of paisley in Europe and the USA. The first popular paisley patterned commodity in Europe was Kashmir shawls from the Indian region of Kashmir. They were extremely expensive, and only wealthy aristocrats could afford them. At the beginning of the 19th century, Scottish craftsmen learned to weave cucumbers on jacquard looms and paisley shawls became a more popular product. True, they were no longer cashmere, but made of sheep's wool silk, and there were significantly fewer colors than authentic Indian goods. A little later, paisley began to be printed on cotton, and the pattern ceased to be a luxury, and by the 1870s, cucumbers were not entirely out of fashion, but rather moved into the realm of the mundane. This situation will continue until the 70s of the 20th century, when Paisley suddenly becomes an integral part of the hippie movement. This happened largely thanks to the Beatles, who brought the Indian flavor from their trip to Rishikesh to the Maharishi's guru. Suddenly, cucumbers appear everywhere, on the Rolls Royce of John Lennon, on shirts with a huge collar, on bell-bottom trousers, on the lining of jackets, and on jackets themselves, women's dresses and baby carriages. The time of the psychedelic revolution is passing, but cucumbers remain a symbol of the rebellious spirit. Paisley is gradually being adopted by street gangs in their visual vocabulary multicolored bandanas, with cucumbers, become a way to distinguish between friends and foes. In the LGBT community, at the same time, colored bandanas tied to the right or left on a belt help gays not only identify their own kind in the crowd, but also immediately declare their sexual preferences. Cucumbers and bandanas are becoming so interconnected concepts that even now the paisley pattern is often referred to as bandana print. 1980s, 1990s and early 2000s, paisley is spent in a slight oblivion, periodically emerging in the clothes of some rock musicians. The exception is the Italian brand Etro, which has been consistently producing clothes with cucumbers since 1984, and to this day, as well as classic English ties and scarves. The ancient matter ties in printed silk are often adorned with a cucumber print and are a classic element of the 1930s. Paisley is now experiencing a new heyday. Back in the middle of the 2000s, streetwear brand The Hundreds released a black jacket with a hood and white cucumbers, which is now considered collectible. But the coolest guys painted each cucumber by hand. This year, Vans released sneakers with a paisley pattern, undefeated a cap, opening ceremony together with Adidas, a whole collection of clothes and shoes, Herschel backpacks, and Fred Perry, together with the famous Thai manufacturer Drake's a series of polos and shirts. Considering the appearance of paisley on the runways during this year's fashion shows, 
it can be assumed that in the summer, we will have a new wave of craze for cucumbers. After all, not everyone is wearing camouflage.